Hi friends! So today I'm going to do a science experiment with you. But this experiment is going to take more than just one day. Okay, it's going to take a couple days. So I'm going to make a couple of videos to show you the changes that this is going to occur during the science experiment. I have a clue for you. When you look at my shirt, what do you see? If you said colorful flowers, you are correct. Today, I'm going to be doing an experiment with flowers, and we're going to try and give them a little color. Do you think it's going to work? Let's try it out. So I have a basket or a bucket that's going to hold all of my materials, okay? I have mason jars. These are glass jars, no covers. I have two sizes. I have a large jar and a small jar. I'm going to use both because I want to see if it makes a difference if I use a small jar or a big jar. I also am going to use food coloring. You can use this when you're trying to dye. As you can see, there's cupcakes on here. The frosting is different colors. You can use it for that, but we are going to put the food coloring into something else. I'll show you that in a minute. I have the colors. Let's see if you can guess these colors. My first one, you see it? It says green on it, and the writing is also in green. And green, blue, red. That one shows up really nice. This one might be difficult. Yellow. We have four colors that we're going to work with today. That's all in my back. I'm also going to use not milk. This is a milk container. I'm sure your parents have this in their house full of milk, but I filled it up with water and I chose this because it has a small circle on the top that you pour out. It's going to make it a lot easier for me to pour. And my last item, ready? Beautiful flowers. Now I bought a bouquet at the store, which is We've learned about what a bouquet is. It's a bunch of different flowers put together in a certain arrangement. But I'm only going to use one type of flower, okay? And I'm going to use these white ones right here. Does anybody know what these ones are called? They are daisies. Daisies have white petals on the outside and a yellow center, okay? These are the ones that we're going to use today for our experiment. Now that I've showed you all of my materials, I'm going to start to put it together, okay? First things first, I need my jars. I have four. One large and three small. One, two, three, okay? Let's tilt this so you can see it a little better. All right, now I am going to take my milk container full of water and I am going to fill these up. I'm not going to fill it to the very top. I'm going to do it a little more than halfway. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to take the cover off. I'm going to slide these over. I'm just going to hold one at a time so it helps make sure that I'm steady in pouring. Gently. I'd say that's a little more than halfway. Flowers soak up water, so I want to make sure that there's enough water in there for them to drink up. But I don't want to make too much because I want to make sure I have enough water for all my jugs. Two. Three. Those look about the same. And now for my big one. This is going to take a lot more water. there. And just to make sure I don't spill any, I'm going to put the cover back on because I would hate for that to happen. Now that my water is in all of my jars, it's time to add the food color. So let's make some colors. I want to do a red one. So I'm going to 
This is a gel. It's not a liquid, kind of like the watercolors that we use at school. It's not like that. It's going to come out in a gel form, but I'm hoping when the water connects with it and I stir it up, it's going to mix it and turn all of the water red. Okay, I'm going to square some in. Oh, look at it. It falls right to the bottom. I'm going to give it a minute and then I'm going to end up stirring it. I'm going to do a red one. Let's try a yellow. This yellow, I'm hoping, is going to turn my white daisies into these type of daisies. These ones are yellow. Do you think it's going to work? Do you think my water will turn this white daisy into a yellow daisy? Should we try it? I think we should. So I'm going to put some yellow. If I can open it. There we go. And I'm going to square it in. I'm going to put quite a bit in. Just because I want to make sure that the water really does turn the bright yellow that it's going to be. I have red. I have yellow. I have a blue. Should we do blue? There we go. Add blue. Okay. And now, because this is kind of an experimental one, because I don't know if the long jar is going to work as effective as the small ones. I don't even know if the small ones are really going to work. But let's put two colors together and make a new color in this jar. What do you say? I want a pretty springy color. And in spring, there's a bunch of purple flowers that come out. So I'm going to take my red and my blue and I'm going to mix them together in this jar and hopefully it's going to make a special color. Here's red. Lots of it. And blue. Okay. Now I need to stir them. Let's see if I have anything over here. I can use to stir. Mm. You know what we can do? I am going to cut the stem off one of, oh, look at this. This is a type of branch. I'm going to use this as a stir because I don't have anything right now next to me. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to stir in the colors with the water and hopefully it turns the water all that color. So this is starting to turn red if you look at the bottom, look at it. And I'm gonna stir up that gel. There it goes. There's my red. There's still some gel in the bottom, so I'm sure it will absorb it later. Do I yellow? Oh, that's a bright, pretty yellow. Blue. That's good. And now let's see if I make purple. Let's mix. Oh, my friends. I don't know if you can really see it, but it is a dark, dark purple. It's super dark. Hopefully, when I put the flower in and after a couple days, it soaks it up and turns the white petals purple. My last step for this experiment is I'm going to take my flowers and I'm going to cut stems and I'm going to put them in. Ready? Here's a bunch. So here's one. I'm gonna cut it at an angle, just cause I heard that when you cut it at an angle, the flowers will soak up the water better. There's two. Ooh. My stems are a little short, but that's okay. Still get the job done. 
I just need to make sure that I have a long one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this whole bunch and put it in my large one because the stems are too short that it won't really soak up the water as well. So I'm going to cut it down here and hopefully it will branch out onto all of this small bouquet of daisies. There we go, friends. That's our experiment for today. So in a couple days, I'm going to make another video and show you what happens to these flowers. But I have a job for you. What do you think is going to happen? I want you to comment your guesses below, and then we're going to see if you were right, or if you were close, or if someone came up with a really cool idea that maybe we could try some other time. All right? I miss you guys, and I hope you enjoyed this experiment as much as I do. And hopefully it works. Miss you. Bye.